Hi, my name is Dean Harmon. I'm a senior computer scientist on data services here at Adobe. And I'm here today to show you how to make an SAP application using uh, Flash Builder and data services in under five minutes. So to start out, we're here in Flash Builder. I'm going to right click on the Package Explorer to create a new Flex project. I'm going to say SAP Demo. Click Next here. And this uses data services. Uh, and we're in the LCDS Samples application. And we're just going to uh, validate our configuration and click Finish. When the project opens up, we're going to uh, click on the icon in the Package Explorer to open up our data model. And once the data model is open, we're going to switch to the data model perspective. Now in our data model perspective, we have a, uh, an SAP server. Now I've pre-populated this SAP server with uh, the BAPI flight functions. But if you were on a fresh system, you could click on the Add button and, and search for your own. So if we search for those same things, BAPI flight, uh, we could see the functions that are on our SAP system. The reason you add them this way is because SAP has hundreds, if not thousands, of RFMs on a given server. Now once we have that open, we can see the details about the uh, RFM that we just uh, imported uh, or that we just added to look at. Uh, we have attributes, import tables. What we're going to do is take the RFM and drag it onto our model over here. When we do that, it's going to take the RFM that we dragged and dropped and add it to a service. So in this case, we're going to just lose, use the defaults for the first page. But on the second page, uh, we're going to tell it to return our flight. So we want to select flight list as our return and click Finish. Once we've done that, we have on our canvas a, a new service with a, a method in the service, the RFM, and the two objects that it needs to operate. Once, we're, uh, we, once we've added that, we need to deploy it to the server, so we click the Deploy button. And when we deploy it to the server, it's going to uh, create in-memory classes that talk using JCO3 to the SAP server, and uh, uh, that enables us to then take the response from SAP and return it to the Flash client. So now that we have it deployed to our server, let's switch back to our main.mxml and go into design mode. Switch to our uh, Flash perspective here and just add on a data grid, just a plain regular data grid. There, it looks good. And in our data services panel, we see down here the method that we had previously added from SAP. We're going to drag and drop that onto our data grid. And then our, as our result, we want to return back our list of flights. So we drop down data provider and choose the uh, flight list array. And that's all there is to it. We're going to save that and click Run. And when it opens up here, uh, it's going to go talk to SAP and return all the flights, which is what we see here from JFK, San Francisco, all kinds of flights. But that would be great if we could have another function that would limit that, because the SAP function when we did the import originally said that there were other options. Let's use some of those. So if we go back to our model and our data model perspective, if we drag get flight list on a second time, this time it's going to give it a new name. We'll just leave it as the default. We're going to select to and from as what we want to return or what we want to pass to the method. And we still want our flight list as our return. Save that. Let's make it a little prettier here. So now we have our two methods. We have get flight list one over here, which is our new one, along with get flight list, which is our original. So we're going to deploy that. Uh, yeah, we need to save the file. And we're going to overwrite the one that we previously deployed. And then go back to our main.mxml. To save a little bit of time, uh, I've uh, got uh, an hbox in my text editor here that has our to and from over here. So we're going to look at that. So here's our from and our to boxes. It was very simple. We're going to right click on the uh, search button right here and choose generate service call. And this time, instead of get flight list, we're going to choose get flight list one, which was our new function, flight get list. And these, this uh, particular method takes objects instead of strings. And since our text box has strings, I have a second method over here and get uh, to take a string and turn it into one of these uh, objects. And get your space there. And then in our method, we're just going to say get 
bappy flight destination text from dot text get bappy text to dot text click save and the last thing we need to do is our original result token up here for get flight list I'm going to copy and paste that onto our second click handler so that it just replaces the result of the first one and uh, switch to our flash perspective and click run. Now when it loads up this time, by default it's going to populate everything. We see that. Let's search for something like uh, SFO to Frankfurt. And if we click search, then we see the list is filtered. So we have San Francisco to Frankfurt. And so with that, that's how we return uh, SAP information f using data services in under five minutes. And thank you for your time. Again, Dean Harmon from uh, Data Services. And you can check out more information about this on the Adobe Developer Center.